to the beat 139 of that i'm don vito what's up welcome to the beat 139 everybody i'm cali yeah today we got uh tv bay from south philly he was highly requested people's on our damn crazy it's like yo y'all have to get tv bay up there you know i'm a little okay, familiar okay. with it also they, they reaching out huh yeah, absolutely out. They, absolutely you was, was highly requested from the uh, our viewers um, okay. We want to start from the beginning. Um, you know, TV Bay, where's all started from with you? Yeah, tell everybody where you from, T. Where oh, you from, man. bro? It started in, in Philly, South Philly, 23rd yeah. Tasker. South Born Philly, stand raised, up. Let's go. I mean, to a, a, a family, you know what I mean, that was Muslim in the, in the 60s and 50s and things like that, you know, come out of the Temple Number 12 and the Morris Science Temple. Of America, you know, my history run deep. Mm -hmm. So that's where I come from. I represent that. Today I'm a Sunni Muslim, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you know, it just, I'm uh, elevating in life and things like that. I come from a, a hard place, the trenches, the mud, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't easy. Lack of education, uh, lack of everything, you know? So yeah. at the end of the day, I had to do everything I had to do to get to where I'm at now, right. you know? So that was taking penitentiary chances and mm -hmm. throwing rocks at the penitentiary, not going to school, mm -hmm. wait time away from the kids, and you know, mm -hmm. you know how it go. You know I, mean? I like the yeah, fact that yeah. you're real with it, bro. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, your family is, is a real strong family out there, the Bay family. Can you get yeah. a little into that? Uh, you know, my like, grandfather, you know, they come from the Morris Science Temple, you know. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to take uh, the slave last name and the brainwash of America, so they decided to be freedom fighters in my eyes, you know, mm -hmm. and go against what America said black people was and what they called us being Negroes, but we not Negroes, we Moors, and you know, mm -hmm. they, they want it better for they self and, they, and their people, you know what I mean, black people, so wow. at the end of the day, that's what they was on and that's how I was raised. <clears throat> so, so your birth name... My first name is Latif, cousin, because right. of my father. My right. mom got married. Right. But Bay is the family last name that my right. grandfather took on because of his knowledge and what he had going on. Okay. So that's the family name. You know what I'm saying? But Bay definitely. That Bay name. hold a lot of weight out in South Philly, too. Okay. Uh, all over Philly. The whole world. <laughs> okay, okay. Not just South Philly, oh, okay. the whole Let Philly. Know, Let them know, The whole man. Philly. Okay. Yeah, see, I got most of my people um, in West Tiffy. Philly. Yeah, watch them know what's up. Who gave you the nickname Tiffy? Uh, my name Latif. Yeah. So it was organic. Yeah, I got a gap, so people might think it's because of my gap. No, oh, okay. My name Latif. And yeah. Tiffy so it was, was like Latif at the end of it. Tiff, yeah, Tiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Tiff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know. How long you been in the, in the music game, man? I, mean, I say all my life, but, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. just on, on paper and all that, about yeah. seven, eight years, some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, because of pushing. Yeah, because I know you started out with your own label, uh, Do For Self. Can you get, get into that? Yeah, Do For Self Entertainment. I got that, you know, just by watching, knowing my culture, where I come from, my grandfather and my uncles and them being in the nation back in the day and all that type of stuff. So that was what they preached, Elijah Muhammad. You know, Do For Self, go out there, earn for yourself. Don't wait around for nobody to give you nothing. Right, right. Bring it back to your people, break down, yeah. and y'all build, you know what I mean? Yeah. With each other. So is uh, Do For Self its own entity, or is yes. that, okay. Do For Self is own entity. Okay. It I, how I noticed y'all, I saw y'all on a, on, a, on a YouTube. Right. Like y'all had like, to me y'all had like, you had a good roster. You had um, Prada. Right. Uh, Showtime. Show, Showstopper. 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 Yeah, K-Dot. Yeah. Blackwood, Rocky, Female Rocky. EC, I don't mm -hmm. feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, Lil Nizzy, I just was, you know, they, K-Dot and all of them was, my homies, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And my brother, man, when I found Nizzy was another story. Rocky, I knew her from North Philly, you know what I mean? The bros, they picked me on her from my, my niggas from North, you know what I mean, whatever. I used to talk to her, but it wasn't really nothing, you know what I'm saying? But then she started rapping, I put her on, on some rapping shit, you know what I'm right. saying? But it was all love, she definitely fire. She heating up the streets right now too in Philly. Yeah, man. So who the dream chaser? Hold on, let's get to this. That's an interesting thing up. Oh, yeah. Who's the dream chaser? Yeah. Yeah. No, so we can go forward. We can go no, back. No, no, no. Let's get back. 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 The roster, because to me, like, I, I'm a little more familiar with the roster, I guess. Yeah. Like, I, I like the showstopper. 
K dot. The showstopper definitely is the showstopper. Niggas, they couldn't see him in the dark. You know what I mean? All the light. He by the head off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he he, he got bars for days. Mm -hmm. He an animal. He come up in the uh, headshot era with Meek and Joey Jahad and all them boys. Mm -hmm. With the, you know what I mean? The DVD era and stuff. So he he was trained well, you know what I'm saying? To bite heads off for the block. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it all started just for your block. And right. rapping on that type of Oh, so he time. put 23 in Tasker too? Yeah, we born right down. I'm 23, 14. We got three houses on Tasker Street. 23, 14, 16, and 20. My grandfather bought them houses. And K. Dot and them lived like 24. Oh. So we like, you know what I mean? So, we so what about Prada? They still, they still Slaughter, rapping? yeah. Slaughter, he just came home from the feds. Just overturned this case on a pill. Beat his case or whatever. Cops stopped and frisked. Illegal. Mm. The feds overturned it. Now he home. Back with his family, he back in the booth, and he working. K Dot, he still rapping? K Dot still rapping, but he uh, going in and out, getting high and shit. But he good though, like he communicating better and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But he ain't really been recording lately. But he got songs that he did record with me or whatever like that. We just waiting for him to get his shit together so he could, you know what I mean, come out right. He knew he can't come out just any way. Yeah, he can't come out. You know what I mean? So it's all about. Being right and real and having your shit together. So when did you decide to go full throttle with Do For Self? As soon as I started it. Which was? 2012. I 2012. got off house arrest or whatever like that. Got out of jail. And I just, Meek was on. I told him, yo, bro, this is what I'm doing. I'm starting Do For Self. You are already on. We are already homies and bros. So I'm going to be pushing that under you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, cool, fuck it. He was rocking. Whatever whatever I push, he's stamping it. Gave my brother a verse for his mixtape, Nipples. He gave my cousin, Superstar Jay, a verse for one of his mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? So anything, whatever you asking for, he was doing. His family, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So he, he still rocked his day. So I'm going to though, he's keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, you know, so a lot of times dudes get on. And they say they gonna look out for the team yeah. when they get on. He gave my producer three hits. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Mick Mills. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Mick Mills. Absolutely. And see, you know what one thing to get on Meek, what, what I like about Meek, like even on All Star Weekend, Kenny Smith said, yo, you the first one to jump on my daughter uh, song. And one uh, thing, I always see I always see Meek say, Meek say this. He said, I, I show love. Right. People would know, but he don't, that's a, that's a real you nigga right there. You don't have to be... Uh, at certain level, he don't, he don't like cock rock with right. somebody, oh, you this. You big, so I'm just rock with the big people. No, he he, he said he with... gave people their first, he said I gave a lot of people their first start, yeah. like their first song. Yeah. Like you said, he gave, like you said, he gave your artist. My they cousin, first, yeah. he did 10 years in the penitentiary. Yeah. And come home and get us. And so y'all grew, grew up together. Yeah, like his uncle was married to my aunt. Right. So it was like. So you guys basically and when family. we got older, yeah. it was like, oh, we really clicking now. We, right. yeah, right. Family. Yeah, family, man. So when you sign artists, it, the artist is just signed to do for self, or is it like a collaboration type of thing with you and Drew Chases? No, it's just, artists, or uh, just like, thing, singled out. Me and Nizzy, uh, Meek told me to sign a little Nizzy, but mm -hmm. it was never nothing on paper. I signed him to do for self. Right. And we just rock with the Dream Chaser logo. Okay. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And I rock Dream Chaser because that's my family. That's right. my man. Yeah. And I've been on the road with me since day one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a Dream Chaser, but people don't want to call me a Dream Chaser because I got my you own label. Right. Right, right, so right. it looked confusing, but at the but end of the day, I can't. Together. Right. I'm a boss. Yeah, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been a boss. Like me and Meek, we come up together. Yeah. But I was out there before him. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the. Sent to Texas when I was 13 for selling drugs. Right, right. Selling crack. Right. You know what I'm saying? 13 yeah. years old. Trying, like, yeah, trying to make you know it happen, survive. Right. So at the end of the day, like. It's y'all family. Yeah, we yeah, family. Yeah, family. Yeah, family. And that, that's, that's the thing. Oh, so I want to talk about exactly Nipsey. Right. Nipsey, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Straight up. How's he doing? I know he baby. got uh, shot up. Nipsey. Lil Nizzy. Yeah. Yeah, Lil Nizzy. He, he uh, just trying to get back and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Trying to rehab it and all that. You know what I mean? Just get his mind together and shit like that. But. This sh the shit was nutty with him, you know what I mean? Yeah, he had a song nice. with uh, wife and uh, Lucci, Don Q. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His shit was about to take off. Yeah. Right. He got shot, what, five days later after yeah. the album?